Hey guys, Clumsy here, and in today's video, I'll be going through my arena fights and telling you how I won them while providing you with many valuable tips. This is episode 1 of the fighting guide in arena. At the time of these clips, I have not yet achieved champs, however, I'm getting close. If you do find this video helpful, please consider subscribing and joining the Discord. All links can be found in the description. Now, without using up any more of your valuable time, let's get right into it. So for the first fight, it's all about prediction and patience. It's the early game and I hear this guy hiding in a bush, so I instantly built to cover myself since he has the advantage here. Now, my opponent ramps up over me and this is the lesson to be learned in this fight. Most players, when they get a ramp over you, the majority of the time, they always flip the ramp. Even when you peace control them with a cone, they will flip the ramp. I just keep track of the player with my crosshair and wait till he makes a mistake. Once I get a shot off, then I build to avoid getting traded. He shoots, breaks my floor, then I take a shot. Once again, I instantly build walls to cover myself, and then I just finish off the fight. Here's another example. Before the fight even starts, I manage to break this player's shield and therefore giving me the advantage in the fight. I push and I apply pressure so he can't heal, and just like that, this guy is under 50 HP. Once again, I continue to apply pressure. However, he managed to hit a nasty shot and now it's anyone's fight. As I push his box, I managed to get another hit. Now watch closely what I do here. Once again, I am just locked in on this player, keeping track of his movements to predict when he will make an edit. And right there was his mistake. I just made sure I hit the shot and it was an easy kill because he was already extremely weak. Now this skill right here is pretty self-explanatory. I got the health advantage, I was being patient, he didn't know where I was. Before being in this building, this player had beamed me so I disengaged to heal up. And once I found the opening, quick mongrel classic, get in his face and end the fight quickly. In this fight, as I pressure this player's box, I do the same thing I always do. Play the corners of the box and never stop moving left, right, up, down. Always be unpredictable and always make yourself a harder target to hit. Yet it's the left side, I move to the right after taking the wall and from here, it's an easy finish. Here, I did something very dumb and that is my positioning. I put myself in a terrible position which allowed this player to edit and get this crazy shot on me. So what did I do? I did the same thing I showed in the last few fights. I knew that he was going to try and edit again since I am really weak. So I quickly hugged the left side so when he goes to make the same edit, I am tracking him with my crosshair and then all I have to do is shoot and he's dead. Whenever you are pushing someone's wall, always make sure you are on the left side because this gives you a right hand peek. After I beam this player with my SMG, I place a ramp so he can't place his own. However, facing a cone would have been better in this situation, but it still ended up working out. I stayed behind cover as much as possible, and then from there I just opened up the ramp and got another easy kill. I had been fighting this gold Midas player for a while now, and it was just trading shots over and over again, running away and healing and just repeat. As he continues to push me, I get this huge hit with my shotgun. Now, in solo arena, what makes you a good player is how fast you can end the fight. Sometimes you don't have a choice. If the other person keeps running around in circles and you just can't get in, then the fight will extend for a longer period of time. But the reason I say this is because so many people ask me how to deal with third parties and there are many answers to this question. You obviously shouldn't land at the hottest drops. You should take fights that are isolated, usually around the edges of the circle, and most importantly when fighting, is to end the fight as quickly as possible. That is easier said than done, but you can improve this by training your peace control. That's what good players do. Once they have the health advantage, they just look to trap their opponents so they cannot run, and once they're in their box, the fight is over just like that. Now this player, after I had lasered him, he did a smart play, however he didn't mean to edit me down. He saw me going towards the right and I think he meant to shoot me as I was jumping on my ramp. As you can see, he's literally facing this way and I'm fully behind him, which allowed me to easily finish off the fight. If you want to win more arena fights and games in general, then always look to start a fight with a health advantage. I managed to crack this guy with my Excalibur rifle and I instantly decide to push him. Also, considering the building material he's using, he's using wood, it was very easy to just beam right through it and melt him. Then I pressured his wall. I was being kind of careless here because I knew, like, he could make an edit, but if he did, I would just kill him. I caught him right before he could use this hammer and just like that the fight was over without me taking a single shot. Really quick tip here, when you find yourself in a box with another player, you either have two options, take control of the cone or ramp, or if you have the walls you can also add out from the side and take a right hand peek. But what I did here was take control of the ramp because then I am the one controlling the fight. This last edit I made here was really bad since he could have actually killed me if he hit his shot for max damage with the shotgun. Also another tip, whenever you kill someone, always make more space for yourself before looting. You see how I made two full metal boxes after I killed him? That is because I know there are other people around and especially in arena solos, you are going to get third partied. You should be expecting it. This fight will teach you what to do when you have no mats and you are at a total disadvantage. Me and this player exchanged shots and we are both very weak. However, I found myself in a pretty shitty situation. I got no mats, no health, and to make matters even worse, all these builds are his. I only have one option and that is to focus on my aim and movement. Now, you are probably going to lose most of your fights when you are in this situation. But to increase your chances of winning, do what I do in this clip. You realize how I'm constantly moving left and right, climbing the wall and I'm just always ready for an edit my opponent could make? 
I probably would have lost this, however, if you were successful in this edit right here. I thought I would have had more time to react, but I have to admit, I got a bit lucky in this fight. However, the advice is still good. Once again, pay attention to how I push this guy's wall. I am hugging the left side. I'm expecting him to make an edit, and I'm being really careful. Also, once I smack the wall once with my pickaxe, I always switch to my weapon in case my enemy will edit his wall, and indeed, he did just that. And I was able to clean up the fight really nicely and smoothly. In arena solos, you want to end the fight before it even starts. I knew there was a player in the shack, so I waited patiently and just timed when exactly I was going to engage. Before the fight even began, this guy was hit for 144, while I was at full HP. He tried to build up to heal, but I continued the chase, and just like that, that fight lasted like not even 15 seconds, and it was done. During this fight, this player takes my wall. I try to get in his face expecting an edit, but he actually goes up. I try to edit him down, and I was able to get a clean shot on my opponent. Every time, I always try to place a cone over the ramp to prevent the player from taking high ground, and also make sure to cover up the sides as well. I get ready for a ramp flip, but I realize that's not the play he had in mind, so I edit out to the side and give myself a right hand peek. I am at a health advantage, so I will continue to apply pressure. Here's me doing the same thing I did in fight number 11. One thing I forgot to mention is that when you fail to take the other player's wall, this is usually when they will go out for an edit. It's either after you smack the wall once, or you break it and fail to take it yourself. Always, always expect the edit, especially if they are being stationary in their position. Confidence is also key in arena. If you struggle with confidence, I made a video while back, but I'm planning to make another renewed version. More tips, better tips for anyone who lacks confidence in fighting. Because one reason why you may keep losing is because you're playing in a very cowardly playstyle where you're just scared. This fight right here, I literally remember what was going through my head. I didn't know if I should push this guy, but I did anyway and I absolutely destroyed him. The only way to get better is by w -king and actually taking more fights. Who cares about points? Yes, you want to reach champs, but in order to do that and stay there, first step is to become a good fighter. Every time someone is boxed up in one single box, push them. You have so much more control in space. Every time you go to challenge someone's roof, they will usually let you take the cone for one reason and one reason only, and that is so they can edit the floor and try to hit you. This is very predictable. So whenever you are pressuring a player's box from the top, be prepared to place a wall in front of you like I did here. This guy just kept doing the same thing over and over again, and eventually I was able to punish him for it. 128. Dead. Before I end this video off, can someone please explain to me how this wasn't a kill? Also, here are some bonus clips. Like, if this gun is OP, here. 112, 150! Dead! Here's a bonus tip, whenever you find yourself in an endgame, always try to look for the opportunity to get high ground since it gives you a really big advantage and makes winning the game 10 times easier. At the end here, I probably shouldn't have dropped, I thought he was on the ground, but he was on his ramp. Anyways, I was still able to finish him off really quickly since he was really weak. My name is Clumsy, this has been your guide to fighting in Arena Fortnite Chapter 4. If you found this video useful in some way, please consider subscribing and dropping a like on this video. Make sure you're using my creator code Clumsy in the item shop or just use someone's code, do not let it go to waste. It really helps out creators. All links and information will be provided in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.